Hey everyone, I'm Harley and it's truly nice to see you on our channel, welcome back! And in today's video, we are going to review Linguist plugin that allows you to translate your website into multiple languages, therefore get more search results. So if you're ready, let's just start! So let's start the actual revision of this plugin. Basically, we have this amazing linguist plugin that allows us to translate our websites to more than 80 languages. Therefore, drive more search traffic because more than 40% of users search something that they want to find out about in their native language. Therefore, this can increase your chances to rank higher and drive more visibility a lot. And it offers one month free trial run period, so why not just try it? Uh, basically, it has perfect translation quality and if we get serious, it is truly amazing even though the translations are automatic. Besides, the translations are SEO friendly and SEO optimized, so you don't have to worry about the rankings part of the translated uh, parts of your website. And then we have uh, this promise that we get to translate more for less and update translations instantly. Then in our user account, we uh, have this kind of dashboard that shows us every statistics by numbers and by visual display. And it is extremely easy to use. We are going to review it in real time version in the demo. We have fast and secure translation services, and this is actually true. And then we have uh, ask for a free installation if you register an account option, which is also quite amazing. We can see some numbers that definitely indicate about the reliability of this plugin, but the numbers aren't everything. Let's review the actual reviews. And when we go down and see the reviews of people who use this plugin, we can see that every single one of them is quite satisfied with the plugin. And finally, I suggested we check out the demo version ourselves. Let's first of all go to the demo website. So this is basically how our demo website looks. It is backend and on the left side of the menu bar we have Linguist plugin where we need to paste API key in order to get uh, started with it. I will show you how to do that a bit later, where to find this API key, basically from the user account. And then we have website original language, which is set to English, but we can change it, depends on our website's original language. We have translated your website info to these languages that are set. We can eliminate or add other languages. We have language switcher automatically option, which we can allow or disable. And we have language list display, side by side, drop down and pop up, and visual editor where we can see it. I think side-by-side -side option works best, at least I like it. We can eliminate the language name or flag, but I'm going to leave both of them. Uh, then we have language name display, for example, uh, English, and we have the flag style, round or rectangular. I guess round works best, let's leave it at the round. Then we have English flag type, which we can choose from Britain and USA. The same goes with the other flag types, we can choose uh, between the uh, flags. We have flag border radius and pixels, flag size which we can change. We can change uh, language name color and language name hover color. We have uh, flag box shadow where basically we can change the shadow display, add offset, v offset, shadow blur or shadow spread and I think three worked best so let's leave it at the three. And we have the same options for the flag box shadow on hover option. And this is basically everything that you can find in the main settings and customize it. So this plugin is also quite customizable. Now let's visit the advanced settings tab. Under the advanced settings we can find use cache option which we can enable or disable and set maximum cache which is currently at 200. We have browser language redirect which automatically redirects users based on their browser language and down below we have translate searches option which automatically translates the searches for the visitors and these two are basically the main functionality that will increase your visibility. Uh, so let's leave them at the enabled. We can change some texts and of course we have custom CSS field and debug option which we can also enable or disable as well as we have insert alternative link tags options. And then we have the help uh, center where we can find how to load the language switch of flex. On WordPress menu we can find everything related to shortcodes, PHP snippets, etc. 
And this is basically everything that you can find in the backend, customize in the backend or find your answers to. Now let's visit the actual account. In the actual account we have home where we have the, our domain. When we click on our domain we can see the overall statistics of translated words on our plan. So currently we have uh, 10k translated characters, 2k words, um, 5 megabytes of input bandwidth and 61 requests. We have page views per language displayed in a, a circle chat that allows us to uh, view how many people visited our website to see it in different languages and basically understand how much traffic increase we have with this plugin. We have the statistics display in other charts as well and 30 most uh, reviewed pages. Uh, then we have the rules where we can manage our translations, content, exclusions and replacement all over our website through uh, setting the rules, editing them, etc. We have the live editor version where we can open the live editor and uh, set it to some language that we want to and see how the front end is going to look like in that language. But now let's get back to our account. and. We have also the settings option where we have the API key in the instructions for installation and this is basically the API key that you need to copy to your clipboard and paste in your WordPress dashboard or Joomla or script PHP. Um, so here is the API, you need to paste it over here as I said before. Then we have domain settings where we can see the URLs, languages, we can see the API key once again, we can copy it to the clipboard or reset the API key if needed. And we have translation languages displayed right over here where we can eliminate them or add them. And finally we have translate URLs option which we can also uh, allow or disable. Now let's get back to our home where we can visit the members tab and see the user roles and their access to various domains. We have invoices tab where we can see all our invoices and of course we have the billing tab where we can see the email, name, address and everything uh, else related uh, to the billing. Uh, this is basically everything that we have on our account of Linguist as well. Everything is easy to use, statistics is visual and easy to understand. And what is left is to see everything from the front end. So let's get back to our back end and visit our front end finally. This is the demo website of the front end version. And this is everything that we set in the settings and saved. It is displayed just as we set it. And let's click on a random language. It instantly translated it to the uh, French as we clicked. Everything looks accurate. Everything is good. Then we can translate it, for example, to Japanese. It will translate it as instantly as it did with any other languages. And now the website is displayed in Japanese. Let's get back to English. And this is basically it. So basically with this multilingual plugin, you will be able to instantly translate your website to multiple languages and users will be able to search your website in their native language and still find your website. Even if they search it in English and find it in English, they can still translate it to any language that they prefer and that is displayed on the front end of your website. So this will increase customer satisfaction levels, potential traffic and of course potential number of the leads generated. So guys, that was all I wanted to tell you. I hope you liked this video and if you did, do not forget to share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in this topic. See you in the next video. Bye!